Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. Breaking news. Boxit site activities has reported to causes a very serious side effect to the people and the surrounding, mostly to the workers. And Timoin, 42 years old, is one of the boxit workers that getting the inflammation. Now reporting live for you, and Timoin from the boxit site. Hi, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi uh, My name is Munira, a reporter from T3, mm -hmm. and this is my colleague, Elle, a camera woman. So, uh, here we would like to <coughs> ask you a few questions yes. regarding the current issue, current issues. But, uh, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling very well. Oh. Uh, I'm coughing yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay, so, okay. what can I do for you? Okay. Uh, Actually, I would like to ask a few questions <coughs> regarding the boxy mining site. Mm, currently, we know that the boxy mining site uh, has bring many harms to the people daily life, especially regarding the health issue. Um, as I can see now, you are coughing very badly. Uh, do you seek a treatment from a doctor? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, oh, okay. Daily. Uh, the doctor said that oh. I've been diagnosed with uh, bauxite pneumoconiosis. Oh, bauxite pneumoconiosis. Yeah, oh, okay. um, at first, um, I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but the doctor said uh, it is a kind of uh, lung infection disease. Oh, so the the action that you coughing very badly is related <laughs> with the uh, bauxite pneumoconiosis. Oh, ah. Okay. Uh, so since when did you uh, start to cough very badly? Um, I think since I worked here three months ago, okay. uh, the doctor had advised me to stop doing this job okay. and change my occupation, oh. find another job. Oh, okay. But I think uh, it is hard to find another job, so I stick with my job. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, working at the bossy mining site become a cause for your disease right now oh i see okay um that's all what i want to ask you thank you very much for your cooperation yeah, you. and i hope that you will get in well soon so that you can work <coughs> again at the world city mining site okay yeah. that's all thank yeah. you uncle You're welcome okay uh okay that's all from me live from the boxy site mining in kuantan pahang uh, back to the studio okay uh, today we have two guests invited for this segment uh, dr uh, siti amira faizal from uh, hospital kebangsa in malaysia uh, and also dr nur shahada ali a researcher from University Islam Trabalsa Malaysia that will briefly uh, talk about pneumoconiosis disease. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Nur Shahada, how are you today? Uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, about pneumoconiosis is our topic today. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, inflammation and one type of hypersensitivity. Yes. Uh, could you please uh, brief more about the definition of pneumoconiosis? Okay, thank you, uh, Ms. Adila. Okay, uh, I will explain about the definition of the pneumoconiosis or uh, bauxite lungs. Bauxite lung is defined as occupational lung disease and a restrictive lung disease caused by the inhalation of dust, uh, often in mines. And for the treatment, block in the alveoli uh, in the lungs cannot be removed with any medication. And even if such a uh, fit were to be attempted, undoing to entire occupation would never possible. However, preventive measure can be taken in form of uh, wearing a protective mask uh, while working in such high uh, dust area and regular medical checkup to detect and arrest the onset of the disease before it becomes evident. Uh, that's all. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Shohada, for very brief explanations about pneumokinesis. Uh, for information, pneumokinesis is a uh, one type of hypersensitivity. So, uh, actually, hypersensitivity is an uh, alteration that are uh, in which our body reacts uh, with an exaggerated immune response to a foreign agent. So, uh, to know briefly. Pneumoconiosis is below to to which hypersensitivity we are with Dr. Amira. Okay, uh, Dr. Amira, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Okay, back to our topic. Um, Dr. Amira, could you briefly explain about pneumoconiosis belong to which group of hypersensitivity? Okay, uh, thank you for uh, inviting me here. So, uh, hypersensitivity are divided into four types. Uh, which is type 1, allergy, type 2, uh, cytotoxic, type 3, immune complex deposition, and lastly type 4 uh, are also known as delayed hypersensitivity. And the disease that we are discussing today, which is pneumoconiosis, are uh, included in type 4 hypersensitivity. And this type of hypersensitivity is different from the others because uh, you don't see the reaction immediately right after the antigen go into your body and the and it is not antibody mediated but a cell mediated response Delayed hypersensitivity is mediated by TH1 cell or also called TD cell and it is responsible for contact dermatitis tissue damage in varieties of infectious disease, and also rejection of tissue growth. Hypersensitivity reaction occur when a person may contact with the allergen. For example, in the video is the poison oak, while in our case today is the boxy dust. During contact, the small molecule from the allergen will bind to a carrier protein in the host. The carrier protein will then ingested by a macrophage. It will then be processed and presented to a T cell that has a specific receptor for the antigen. The T cell will then activate it and increase in number. When the host make contact with allergen for the second time, the TH1 cell reacts with allergen peptide that being presented by the macrophage and then it will release cytokine and attract more macrophages causing inflammation. Mr. Muin, please suspend your breathing. Oh, please come in. Uh, Dr. N? Uh, yes, I am. So, okay, Muin, okay. you can okay? Yes. Uh, I think it is something wrong with my lungs mm -hmm. and I cough a lot lately. Oh, <coughs> so you're not very, feeling very well today? Not feeling really well. Mm -hmm. So when you <coughs> cough a lot, you feel pain in the chest, right? Yes, very pain. Oh, painful. So this is the radiograph of the chest. Uh, at the uh, boatside mining sites. Ah. Yes. As a? Uh, lorry driver. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Boatside mining site. Yeah. Okay, from this radiograph, you can see that mm, there's uh, lung nodules. Where? There. Okay. 
inyo lang and <coughs> some messes there which I think this is quite abnormal and I believe that this is what we call lung infection it is called as pneumoconiosis what? pneumoconiosis Coniosis. yes it's a lung infection mm. okay you now listen to me I believe because of your type of occupation I believe that this is what caused this infection to your lung and because of my occupation yes because oh. of your occupation actually and because of the environment itself it's affecting your health that's why you cough a lot because there's <coughs> some nodules there and masses <coughs> yes okay. it's okay um i will yeah provide a uh, further treatment for you okay okay Okay. Thank you. Thank Mimi. you. Later. Have a nice day. Okay. <coughs> well, Dr. Mira, actually, what does the box uh, does do to our body, and how our body reacts with it? Okay. When the when the worker inhale the box, it does. It goes into his trachea, and that's when the reaction will start. When a worker breathes. Oxid dust enter the mouth and nose, flow down through the trachea into the lungs. For your information, oxid contains a mixture of aluminium and silica particulate. The oxid dust will lodge deep in the lung tissue where oxygen is absorbed into the blood. Immune system will try to break down the boxy fiber and become damaged and die. Scar tissue then form around the dead cell and spread as more fibers invade the lung. This make it hard to breathe. Boxy can remain in the lung for a long period and scar tissue that result continue to develop for many years after the exposure. Eventually, so much Scar tissue developed that the lungs stop working. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Mira, for your brief explanations. Now we come to the to the end of this segment. So, uh, any questions, any related issue, or any comments you can suggest to us by email us at patotv at gmail.com. And thank you for both of you for spending your time here.